What is happening, guys? Papa Rossi talking ball cards. I uh, got a set, a stack of slabs here from CSG. Uh, it is my second CSG bulk order, and we're gonna do the reveal here. I already looked at the grades. Pretty happy with them. I think CSG is uh, is they're fast. Um, you know, they did this in about 25 business days, so about five weeks. Um, and you know, for 90 cards or whatever this is, that's pretty, that's pretty fast. This was a $12 service. Um, I think after looking at the grades, I, I think their grades are pretty consistent, albeit, um, in my opinion, they're a little soft. Um, my experience obviously is with the PSA grading scale and with the SGC grading scale. So as I go through these cards, I'm going to tell you where I think there was some deviation. Um, in general, uh, I, I do think PSA is a little more strict on their grades, and um, also SGC is definitely a little more strict. Anyways, got a good mix of vintage and newer cards in here, uh, or more modern cards, and let's start with the vintage. Getting right into it here, uh, Monte Irvin, Rookie. This card has some tape and some paper loss, so um, one pour, I, I think that's totally fair. And for $12 to get a card like this certified that it wasn't uh, messed around with, I, I think that's pretty good. Um, 53 Bowman Color, Gil Hodges. Gets the VG3. Um, yeah, nice card there. Little rough, rounded corners, I should say. Uh, let's see. This one, I, th I think this is about right as far as a grade goes. Um, I, I think this would be around a PSA 5. Um, Yankees, 56 team card. Pretty nice example here. This one didn't have any creases or anything. I do think the centering held it back. Um, believe it or not, the centering scale that uh, CSG uses is more strict than PSA. Anyways, uh, you could always check uh, both both uh, respective websites. Check out the centering standards. Six on the Chuck Bednarik. Bednarik. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Embarrassing myself here. A six. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Calavito rookie in a four. I think that's about right as well. The card has decent corners, a little bit of wear up there on the edge, and a little bit of, uh, it, I, I don't think that's wear, I think that's print defect. So a four actually feels about right. You know, there's been some talk of, you know, there's some like uh, accepted variations of cards where the print is, is more or less missing in parts of the back. I've, I've seen this with the 58 mantle. Um, there's a lot of discussion about accepting cards that have missing print as a, as a true variation. I don't know if that's the case here. This could be wear, or this could just be some print defect. But a four, I think that's about fair. This one, I actually thought this would do a little better, but you know, that centering is, is bad. So I think a three and a half is fair. This is a Cleveland Browns team card. So that's got a young Jim Brown on it. I actually thought this would get a two based off my previous order. I thought this would do a little better. This 62 top set is really rough. Uh, Fran Tarkenton, rookie. Turns out that's, I, I think, if my memory serves me correctly, that's not Tarkenton. That's that's someone else on the team, the, this picture. So I think that was a mistake. Although, number 10 there, number 10 there. So uh, that, may be, that may be bad information I've got. Don't know. Someone told me that's not Tarkenton pictured in that little pic. Anyways, there's some wrinkles and stuff, so one and a half. And man, the plastic is just so nice on these holders, guys. Um, anyways, uh, this was a minimum size rejection from PSA. Gets a seven and a half. I did measure the card. It was slightly short, uh, about a 32nd of an inch short. This gets a near mint plus, seven five. Other than being a little short, it's super nice card. So, um, 
CSG seems like a good, reasonable destination for cards that have factory cut issues. Um, so if you get a minimum size rejection from PSA or a miscut rejection from PSA, CSG may be a good landing spot. Let's see, uh, 63 or 63 Fleer Gym Auto, near mid seven, got to discuss this card. This is a hilarious one. Okay, so this was in a PSA four slab. And it had it had something on the surface. It might have been some gum residue, it might have been some wax. It was literally something I was able to just flick off the card after I snapped it. It was super nice, obviously. I mean, look how sharp this card is. And so cracked it out of the PSA slab, flicked, flicked that residue off, whatever that was, sent it back to PSA, and PSA sent it back and stated that it was trimmed. <laughs> PSA wouldn't know a trimmed card if it scratched them on their balls. <sighs> Don't know how else to say that, guys. They are, they are wholly incapable of I properly and accurately identifying trimmed cards. Even a broken clock is right twice a day, you know? Um, so I'm not saying that they don't occasionally get them, but they really don't know, guys. It's, it's pretty sad. 30 years in the business, PSA does not know how to determine if a card is, is trimmed. And you need to know that. That's really important. Um, you need to know that if you grade with PSA. Anyways, it's not trimmed. Uh, it's, a, it's a seven. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Bucks Blasters. This is a cool card. I, I like this card, obviously, because it's uh, featuring Clemente. I think the print defect is holding it back. There's a lot of snow on that surface. Other than that, I think the corners are strong. Centering, it's shifted down a bit, so... Gets a six, which I believe to be a fair grade. Uh, this, this was a long time back PSA rejection as miscut. So you see how this corner here, that's, that, that corner isn't perfectly square. That was the, uh, the reason for the miscut designation and the rejection. But again, uh, CSG s shows some reasonableness when it comes to these vintage cards with, uh, with factory cut issues. So keep that in mind. Richie Allen, or uh, Dick Allen, five and a half. Yeah. Uh, nice centering here, but obviously wrinkles and um, some surface wear issues, corner wear as well. So a 1.5, I, you know, I think this is a fair grade, especially with the nice centering. So I, I think the nice centering bumps it up off of uh, just getting a one. Speaking of one and a half, so that, this has pretty decent eye appeal for a 1.5 as well. 64 tops, Willie Mays. There's some, there's some pretty, pretty intense staining on the back. So, and there are some uh, wear issues. So a 1.5, I think that is also a fair grade there. This is a 1966 Philadelphia. This is from Gail Sayers, uh, his rookie year. And it features him here. Gets a five and a half. I like these Philadelphia cards. Um, Hall of Fame rookie here, Larry Zonka in a two. I think that's about right. Two feels right. These, you know, if you guys uh, hold one of these in hand, I think you'll be you'll really appreciate how the, the slabs feel very rigid. They're very rigid. They're incredibly clear. The plastic is, is incredible that they use. It's just so crystal clear. And um, I think the label's better. This is much better than the green label, in my opinion, although that's just a, you know, a visual thing. Some uh, 70 tops baseball here. Tom Seaver gets an EX near mint six. This one, I mean, if, if we were subbing this to PSA, this, this would not do better than a five. Um, so, you know, th this is, uh, you know, an area 
with the vintage cards where I think CSG is a little more lenient when it comes to corner wear. There's just no way. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that there's no way this would get a six. I think this could be a six uh, if it were submitted 10 years ago to PSA, but not today. Today, you know, nine times out of 10, that'd be a five. Uh, 70 tops Pete Rose All-Star. This is another PSA rejection. This was rejected for a miscut as well. I'm thinking, I, I, I believe it's because of this corner up here. You see how this, this border, as it goes up, it gets a little thicker and then hits the corner. So uh, that's another, I, I call that a success. I tend to agree with uh, CSG here. I, I think if... Vintage cards have factory cut issues. I think they should get a straight grade. And that's just my opinion. Some PSA purists may disagree. But then again, you can uh, you could resubmit to PSA, you know, and uh, a minimum size card can get a straight grade the next time around. So anyways, um, 70 tops high end example here gets a near mint to mint eight. For this uh, 1970 Yaz. Yes. I, I think this would be a 7. If it were to be submitted to PSA. And I think you'd get a 7. Because of this registration. The registration isn't super good on this card. I mean if you look look closely at Pete here. He looks. I mean that looks right. That looks good. But if you look here. It's, it's out of focus a bit. So the registration's a bit off. Um. So, yeah, I, I think this would be a PSA 7, so a little overgrade there, but I, I do think it aligns with their standards. I, I took a closer look at the CSG standards, and I think they're grading within the standards that they state, um, and I think there's value to that. Anyways, uh, Vita Blue Rookie in a 5.5. Look how bright that is reverses compared to like one like this like this looks like it sat in the sun for a year or it was running out of ink that blue and that yellow just bold and popping off the back there um this is a fun one <clears throat> i think a lot of people well let me wipe this off i think uh i think kind of the secret's out that this is a you know this is a Obviously, a vintage card that features Mickey Mantle. So if you look right here, look at that grumpy Gus. Ignore my fingernails. <laughs> that is the Mick. He was there for this photo day, uh, for the team photo day, uh, in uniform. So this is his last vintage card in uniform. Obviously not playing days. His last at bat was in... I think it was in uh, 68, 1968, but featuring Mickey Mantle here, guys, kind of cool. And I mean, you could get these, these Yankees teams cards from the 71 set for, you know, you could get them for five bucks and look nice. Anyways, this gets a EX near mint six. I actually thought it might do a little better. So... The grade, I'm so I, I, you know, I feel this is reasonable. I don't feel like this card was overgraded. Um, <clears throat> Jim Palmer, sixty-five. Uh, I'm sorry, sixty-five. <laughs> Jim Palmer, nineteen seventy-one, gets a six point five. This was a PSA minimum size rejection, uh, and I believe the minimum size issue was left to right. Little bit. A little bit of gap in the holder. So that gets a 6.5. I think that's right. I thought that had a chance at a near mint. Uh, Munson rookie cup card. So this is second year. EX5. I think that's, that's a fair grade. It is off center, as many of those issues are. Uh, 71 Hammer and Hank gets a 6. I was expecting EX if I were to submit this to PSA. So again, uh, slightly favorable here on these vintage cards. Um, wow. This one was an eyebrow raiser. You know, I, 
I sent it and I looked at the card and to me, the card was, you know, vintage flawless. I saw no issues. And so I, I was kind of scratching my head, like thinking, well, what would this get? Even the back is decently centered. It could be a little, it could be shifted up a bit to get a little closer to 50-50. It's like 60-40 right here, but anyways, Mint 9. And the only reason I submitted it was because this is uh, Starbucks rookie year. Hey, look at these corners. <laughs> I mean, that's blazer, blazer, <laughs> razor. I mean, these. this is really sharp. Almost no print issue. I mean, you could say that the corners got touched, sure. But a nine, I think, I think that's actually reasonable. It's, it's a stunner. That is a top pop. Um, it, so I, there's none graded higher at CSG. This is an early, uh, an early Kareem Abdul Jabbar card. Here he is on the on the Bucks. Still going by uh, Lou Alcindor. Gets a near-mint seven. I think that's about right. Reasonable grade to me there. Got another one of those and a four. Corners are a little rougher, so yeah. Um, 74 tops, Ryan gets a six. I actually thought that's about right. A little bit of chipping up here, so. Probably, and a tiny bit of staining on the back there. So in reality, probably closer to a five uh, on the PSA scale. Chipping along, along the borders, that usually gets you a pretty instant five with PSA and the staining on the back. If your card has a visible stain on the back, PSA typically won't go better than a five. Anyways, speaking of fives, 75 tops, Nolan Ryan in a five. Corners are strong here, but centering is a, a real problem. It's off quite a bit. Still, nice one. I should probably use some of these stands, huh? Let's see. Let's do this one. I think that's that's a good one to use there. Moving on. Let's see if we can fill those other stands up. Uh, Jim Rice, rookie, in a seven. I think this is more like a six with PSA. But if they're consistent, if, if CSG stays consistent, and they have reasonably with my two first two orders with them, I prefer that. That's okay if they grade a little more lenient as long as they're consistent. Some folks may disagree with that opinion, but that's just my opinion. I prefer the consistency to the incredible inconsistency that PSA displays on an order by order basis. Um, this is an interesting one. Well, we just saw a decent Johnny Bench there from 76. This is a uh, Lou Whitaker uh, rookie card in a seven and it's a blank back. So someone someone told me once that these were, these were test issues or something like that. I honestly can't remember. So don't take me to the bank on that. Kind of a cool example though. Got a pair of uh, Paul Molitor rookies here, both with similar centering issues. One gets a four, one gets a five and a half. So there's those guys. Not another nice football example here. And this is a second year Walter Payton uh, featuring another Hall of Fame murderer, uh, OJ Simpson. Nice. Gets an eight and a half. <clears throat> you want to hear some irony? O.J. Simpson said that he's afraid to go back to L.A. because he might run into the real murderer. <laughs> oh, man, that guy. Pure, pure, pure comedy. Anyway, <laughs> Kellen Winslow, rookie card here, gets a mint nine. I, I, I thought this was going to get a nine, so... Nice to see that met my expectation. A little bit of print defect on there, but other than that, this is a that's a sharp, sharp example. 
Uh, speaking of sharp examples, in, a, in PSA 9, this is like a... This is like a $200, $300 card, I think. This is an early OPG Gretzky, um, obviously a, score, a scoring leader card. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a blazer. So I was thinking that this should be at least an eight. Gets a nine, might be a bit of a centering... Uh, centering shift there but yeah that's 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 a highlight in this order i think um mint nine on a seven oh, i'm sorry on an 81 opc speaking of mint nines i did well on some of these uh football and you know that hockey card there the 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 payton brothers here from 82 eddie and walter it's a mint nine. This one, the corners weren't as sharp. So I, I was thinking eight here. Uh, there we go. Uh, Marino rookie gets a six and a half. There's some snow there, some centering issues. So six and a half. I think that's reasonable. Pippin rookie here gets a near mint seven. Centering issue, some print defect. I think that's reasonable as well. Let's see if there's any other highlights in here that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Six and a half on the Jordan rookie. Uh, not the rookie, sorry. Uh, the, the 88 Fleer sticker Jordan. Uh, Olajuwon gets an eight. I think that's reasonable. That's, that's a nice early Akeem there. The Magic gets an eight as well. These are These are pretty tough to grade. With those, uh, with the red and blue borders. Um, Panini sticker Jordan gets an eight and a half. Going to skip over that one because this one got a nine. So I was pleased with that. Nice, uh, nice example there. Same set. This is the MVP kind of uh, foil, foil sticker there. That gets a mint nine as well. So. Happy about that. Pulled that from a lot that I purchased off eBay. Uh, this uh, 92, so same year, Panini stickers. This is a Ken Griffey. I thought this was just a cool looking card with that foil, that kind of foil look. It's 8.5, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Marshall Falk, this is his upper deck SP. This is a foil rookie as well. You know, it, it, this is a pretty tough grade through PSA. I, I think this is, this would probably be more like an eight with PSA, but CSG gave it a nine. Pleased with this, this is 96 Topps Chrome. So this is her first year doing Topps Chrome, and this is a refractor. So these are pretty tough, pretty tough pulls from this product. I have opened a few of these packs, um, refractor, as you could see up there. I just really like these early refractors. And man, does that look good. Looks really good. Um, same set, this is a tie turner. That gets a nine on the Elway. Uh, eight and a half on this uh, top's finest Marvin Harrison refractor rookie. Centering holding that card back, but looks good in there. Looks really good. Uh, Skybox EX2000, 9.5 mint plus. Nice one there. That was just, I mean, that was like a $4 card. I just thought it looked so good. Um, Ricky Williams and Edge. Rookie. From the Contenders. What is it? Uh, 99 Playoff Contenders SSD. Someone could probably tell me. I don't know what the SSD was all about back then in these early years of Contenders. Though That's an on-card auto. And the auto gets a 10, card gets an 8. There's a bump. There's a bump on one of the corners. I think it's that one. Yeah, it's that one. So an 8 seems right. Uh, <clears throat> Champ Bailey. This is his SP Authentic. Auto. Gets a 10 for the card. And a 10 for the auto. So 10-10 on the Champ. Happy with that. 
Uh, this is kind of an obscure, I don't even know where I got this card. I had it in a binder um, that I've had for, I've had for 25 years since I was a kid. I think my dad's, uh, my dad's tile setter helper. So my dad set tile his whole life and his helper was named Fred. And I think Fred gave me this binder that had all of these. And some of them are in really nice shape. So I submitted this one as well. This is a Tory Holt uh, rookie as well. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, that wasn't a Jerry Rice rookie, but these are pretty cool. Galvanized previews. On the back, they all say this preview. Didn't show you on the, on the Rice. But uh, thank you, Fred, if you gave me those. Uh, uh, Carlos Delgado. Nice on-card auto there. I think I got that card for like 14 bucks. Uh, auto gets a 10 as well. Card gets a 9.5. Uh, Game Gear LT Rookie 8.5. And I told them not to grade the auto, but they still did. And so the auto gets an 8 because it's, you know, it's way out of the window here. So I sent them an email. I'm going to see what they say about that. I, there were a few that I did not want auto grades on, and they still gave me the auto grades, and they still charge me. So um, they still have some kinks to work out, no doubt. Uh, low end Ichiro rookie here, Fleer Platinum nine five mint plus. That seems about right to me. Uh, another lower end. This is the upper deck Ichiro mint nine. Card looked good, but it has I mean it has a little touch up there, little white, little white touch. So. That seems about right. Pujols, same set. This guy just can't stop hitting homers. Um, hope he's not juicing. I mean, he's just, he hit two the other night. Anyways, uh, let's see. Oh, kind of a cool one here. Earl Campbell, 9.5 mint plus. Auto gets a 10 out of the ultimate collection. Very cool on card there. These thick slabs are pretty nice. I missed the mark here. This got a 6.5. And I think it's just, you know, I thought that that line, I thought that that line was just part of the card design. But I think, I think they considered it a wrinkle. <laughs> so, Steven Jackson, rookie, gets a 6.5. So, I missed the mark there. That's out of 150. Much nicer example of a Steven Jackson uh, rookie auto from the same Ultimate Collection. 9.5 min plus, auto gets a 10, outered out, <laughs> outed, uh, numbered out of 250. Only issue with this card is right here. That's a little like a little print chip or a blotch. Uh, so I, I was thinking this would get like a PSA mint nine. But who knows, they could, I mean, obviously CSG didn't think that was too big of an issue. Uh, Steven Jackson is going to get into the Hall of Fame, guys. So, um, anyways, another, I'm going to pile up some rookies of his. I already have a few, but he's going to get in the Hall. There aren't many running backs that are putting together the numbers that, that, that he's got. Um, mid nine on this one. This is numbered out of just 25. And I think I got that card for 20, 20 bucks. There's these little pieces of paper that come off here. Frank Gore. Uh, I think he needs to stop hitting women. I think Frank Gore just got a little domestic violence trouble there. So he should probably avoid that. Uh, Topps Chrome issue gets a 10 for Frank's rookie there. Uh, Demarcus Ware gets a nine out of out of that Chrome uh, Chrome set. Um, this is, I mean, yeah, I don't. I think I, I think I saw this at a show or something, and it was only ten bucks. And I was like, Dwight Howard, Dwight Howard Howard uh, autograph for ten bucks. I don't, I don't really follow the NBA too closely though. Anyways, the auto gets a nine. Um, Calvin Johnson, finest. This is a pretty easy set to grade. So, um, 
I was expecting this to do well. Hall of Fame rookie there. Um, speaking of Hall of Fame, I, I think Matt Ryan has a chance. This is his chrome. Uh, just base rookie there. Gets a 10. Uh, another Calvin. Gets a 9. Going a little faster here. Don't want this video to be too insanely long. Uh, <laughs> Marshawn needs to stop drinking and driving. Um, uh, that was a pretty uh, funny DUI video. It's not a laughing matter, but uh, he is a funny guy. Um, anyways, obviously didn't want the auto grade here. He's way off the sticker. He He's a very, very crazy signer. Card gets a 10, auto gets a 7. So obviously I didn't want the auto grade. They still still gave it there. As much as this one hurts me as a Raider fan, <laughs> this this uh upper deck masterpiece is this this gets a this gets a 10. I thought a 10 was possible. That's pretty thick card stock. Rick Barry on card auto. Nine for the card, 10, 10 for the autograph there. Another guy that's probably going to... I think he'll get into the hall. Um, yeah, I, I, I think he will. X-Fractor gets a 10 there. Another X-Fractor, that gets a 9. Centering isn't as good on this one. So I think the centering kind of held it back. Uh, same set, but this is the autograph. And the auto gets a 10. Card gets a 9. So rookie auto there. Julio... Julio's going to get into the hall. Um, he's playing with Tom Brady right now. We will see how that goes. 10 and 10. That's a low-end uh, you know, issue of his. This is the, the much more desirable. His contenders. This is another uh, on-card auto. This gets 9.5 on the card and a 10 on the auto. If I submitted this to PSA, I would expect a 9. This is... There's that corner has a little bit of white showing that one as well. Um, so I was thinking nine there if it went to PSA. Refractor Aaron Donald. He needs to relax a little bit too on the practice field. <laughs> Making some waves against the Bengals. Anyways, this is his refractor. That gets an 8.5. That was a little bit of a disappoint disappointment. I was expecting a nine there. Um uh, same card gets a nine there on the Donald. This was a stunner. This is his uh, his gold. And uh, I, I think, uh, you know, it's numbered out of 2014. And I think CSG just missed this corner. Let's see if I can focus there. To me, that, that corner can't be a 10. The rest of the corners look good. But... I think this would be an instant nine over at PSA or SGC. Uh, this guy just got a big contract, Derwin James. Rookie ticket auto gets a nine five. Auto gets a 10. He stayed in the lines there, so he gets a 10. Uh, Josh Allen optic nine. Almost done. A few more cards. David, Montgom David Montgomery. Optic Purple Stars Auto. That's an on-card auto. He gets a nine on the card, ten on the auto. Numbered out of numbered out of fifty. Um, we'll see what he does this year. Pen Pals. This is a fun one. I uh, I'm a Raider fan, like I said. So Hunter Renfro had an impressive season last year, and Raiders are primed, I think, for to, for a pretty good season this year as well. Got some good weapons. 10-10 on the Pen Pals Rookie Auto there. No idea what I missed on this card. I missed something. Damian Harris. Uh, yeah, I just, I mean, there must be a deep scratch or a, or a wrinkle that I missed. So this is, this is probably on me. I need to take a closer look at, a closer look at that. Uh, Terry McLaurin, another rising star, gets, I think we got a 10-10 here on his uh, rookie ticket autograph. Optic. Uh, DK Metcalf, 10. 
And last but not least, well, sorry. Uh, got Tatis Jr. here. Allegedly had some ringworm, took a medication and got popped for roids. So I don't think that's really the case. <laughs> I don't know, man. What are you doing? Anyways, uh, Tatis Jr. there uh, gets a 10. But anyways, I I had a lot of fun with this order. This was a this was a really cool order with some nice highlight cards in here. I hope you guys enjoyed the the variety and the CSG bulk reveal. I uh, I do think I'll use them again, but they raised their prices, so we'll see. I'll wait a little bit. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, Paparazzi talking ball cards. Later, out of here.